and Jiggle Kids. My name is Vicki Van Sickle, and I'm the author of the book, Anonymous. And I'm so excited to share it with you today for March Break Programming. This is a book about street art, and street art can include murals, installations. I think it can include things like signs or little fun things that people put in their neighborhood. And one of the things that I have noticed recently during the pandemic, going on my neighborhood walks, is how people have done things to make their neighborhoods just a little bit more beautiful and community feeling. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to tell you a bit about the book. We're going to read the story, and then I have some ideas for you that you can do as part of the Anonymous Challenge to make your neighborhood more beautiful. So the first thing I want to talk about is the book. So Anonymous is a play on the word Anonymous. And Anonymous is a word that we use when we don't know somebody's name or we don't know who they are. So this is a book about a street artist who leaves art for the animals in the city, but we don't know who it is. And the street artist is not a person, but an animal. Can you guess what animal it might be based on this title, Anonymous? If you guessed mouse, you're correct. So Anonymous is a mouse who is leaving street art for the animals in the city. I'm going to read it to you now, and then when we're done, I'll tell you about some crafts that we can do. Anonymous by Vicki Van Sickle and Anna Paroli. Now, as I read the story, you want to make sure you're looking out for any sign of pink paint. One morning, a tired city rat made her way home. But when she got there, she found it had been transformed. Across the city, a colony of bats was settling in for a good day's sleep when they noticed something unusual. Very unusual. There is no explanation, only a name. Anonymous. Suddenly, Anonymous's art was everywhere. No canvas was too high. Or too low. Or too unusual. Sometimes it was funny. Sometimes it was serious, but it always made the animals of the city think. Time went by, the art faded, became obscured, or disappeared completely. There hadn't been anything new from Anonymous in a long time. The animals of the city missed Anonymous's perspective. They worried that something bad might have happened. After all, the city can be dangerous for animals. More time went by with no sign of Anonymous, but his art left a lasting impression on the animals of the city. Thanks to Anonymous, they looked at the city in a whole new way. As for Anonymous,
The world is his canvas. There he goes, off on a new adventure. The end. A warm greeting to everyone from Italy. My name is Anna Piroli, and I am the illustrator of Anonymous, the wonderful book written by Vicky Van Sickle. I'm really happy to be here with you to talk about my work and how Anonymous was born. I live and work in a small district of Milan called Isola. My desk is right behind a large bookcase where I keep lots of illustrated books, my greatest treasure. Most of these I bought in the two bookstores I have near the house, small but very full of masterpieces. I really love them, but I have given myself a rule to enter once a week at the most. Otherwise, I spend everything I earn on books. Although I have been painting since I was six, now I work almost exclusively digitally. I make the drawings directly on the Cintiq tablet, sometimes making sketches, but more often through a procedure that resembles that of the sculpture by subtraction. I draw a big splash of color and remove everything around it until I get to the shape I have in mind. Then I rotate and combine the various parts that make up a character to create something unusual something that uh, surprises me. The shape speaks to me, and when the right combination is found, I feel it by intuition. When I first read Vicky's text, I was very intrigued. How could I represent an invisible mouse leaving creative and positive messages to the animals of a grey city? I thought... Uh, it could be white, elusive like a ghost, and uh, with a brush always in hand, ready for the next work of art. It's true, you can hardly see the character in the book. By the way, did you find all the places in the book where he appears? But you can see the things he paints, and they are very funny, creative, and profound. I wanted Anonymous to be just as likable and astute as his works. The only feature that differentiates it from all the animals is the use of a colored scarf that makes it a little more human, perhaps a little more aware. Right from the start, I imagined two very distinct worlds that of the city in sepia color to underline a smoky, monotonous and homogeneous environment and that of Anonymous's works in bright pink, a deliberately strong and incisive sign to break the rules and the standards of the city reality. Because uh, basically this is what graffiti artists do. They try to get noticed and tell things out of ordinary life, to light a fuse, a, a new thought, a possibility to explore. Just like art does, isn't it? It was very nice to imagine what uh, city animals think, how they feel and uh, what interests they have, what can attract their attention and what can make them live uh, better? It's a useful exercise to shift attention from the habits of one's life. Then I let the fun conduct my work. I wanted each thread to be joyful and full of curious detail to discover little by little. 
Many ideas were given to me by Vicky and the Tundra team, with whom I found myself in full harmony. You see illustrations and read a text, but behind a book there are many invisible people to make sure that everything works. Without them, the book literally would not exist. We're back. Thank you so much for joining me for the story time of Anana Mouse. And so some of the things that you can do are very simple. It's wintry right now, but in some places the sun is shining and spring is coming back. And one of the things you can do is you can leave a message using sidewalk chalk. You could do it on the sidewalk, you could do it on your driveway, or you could write something on a sign. So I've made a sign here and it says, you look nice, which I think is a very nice compliment. And on one of my walks, when I was doing my pandemic walk, someone wrote this on the sidewalk and it really made me feel good. So using sidewalk or other paints or things that you have, you could make a sign, you could make something to put on the ground. That's a really easy way to brighten your neighborhood for the anonymous challenge. The other thing you can do is you could paint a rock and you could leave this rock on your stairs, in the garden, by a tree in your yard, or maybe you could leave it in a park for someone to discover. So I've painted a few rocks, and all you need for this is you need to find some rocks. You could find them on the ground as long as you're in a place where you can take them. You can get them at a craft store. You want to make sure you wash them really carefully, and then you need to get some paints. So what I did with this one, so this one is nice and yellow, and you can see I have added a face to it to make a smiley face. So that's my smiley face rock. And for this one, I wrote a word. So this one I painted green. And I wrote the word hope, which is something I think we could all use right now. And instead of the O, you can see that I painted a daisy. So I put a daisy in the place of the O because I really like flowers and I think flowers are a good sign of hope. So painting some rocks is something you can do to put out and sort of also beautify your neighborhood if you would like to be a part of the Anonymous Challenge. So thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoy the book. We hope you feel inspired to go out and make your neighborhood more beautiful and stay safe and have a great time. Bye, everyone.